Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here the official guide to the GRE, the revised journal test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 219. Today is our lesson number 77. Problem number 3. Which of the integers, which of the following integers, which of the following integers, problem number 3, are divisible by 8. Well, let's take a look at it. This is, this is from yesterday, we do not, we no longer need it. This is from yesterday. It says when we have to divide, when we have to divide, when we have to divide one fraction by another fraction, we multiply the top fraction by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction. That's what it says. It's the words of wisdom from the Far East. Don't ask me how far, okay? So which of the following integers are divisible by 8? Let's write down the integers first. They give you 312, 98, 112 and finally 144. Now here, here's the deal. You could very easily take out your calculator and they tell me which one is divisible by 8. That's, that, that's, that's not the bloody point here. We're not trying to see how fast you can use a calculator. A number that is divisible by 8 is same as saying, because 8 is what? 8 is, what you have to understand is, 8 is simply 2 times 2 times 2. So a number that is divisible by 8 must also be divisible by 2 and then 2 and then 2 again. If you can keep dividing it by 2 3 times in a row, that number is divisible by 8. If you can only divide it twice, divide a number is divisible by 2 and then the result is divisible by 2 again, then that initial number was divisible by 4. So that's what I'm going to do here. Let's divide by 2. Okay? So let's do them one by one. One by one. I'm gathering different colors here. All right, so we have different colors. So, how many how many twos in a three? There is one two in a, there is one two in a three. The remaining one goes here becomes eleven. How many twos in eleven? There are five twos in eleven. The remaining one goes there becomes twelve. How many twos in a twelve? There are six. There are six twos in a twelve. So that one was fine. How many twos in a nine? There are four twos in a nine. The remaining one goes here becomes 18. How many 2's in 18? There are 9 of them. How many 2's in a how many 2's in a 1? There is 0 2's in a 1. This one goes there, joins this guy, joins this guy, becomes 11. How many 2's in a 11? There are 5 2's in a 11. The remaining one goes here, becomes joins this guy, becomes 12. How many 2's in 12? There are 6 2's in a 12. How many 2's in a 1? There are 0 2's in a 1. So one goes this guy, one goes to this guy, joins him. How many twos in a fourteen? There are seven twos in a fourteen. How many twos in a four? There are two twos in a four. So everybody is everything is divisible by two. So far so good. Obviously everything is divisible by two because all of them were even numbers. So that was that was an earth shattering uh, re uh, revolution. Let's see what happens. Now let's divide one more time by two. How many twos in a one? There are zero twos in a one. This guy goes and joins this guy. How many twos in a 15? There are seven twos in a 15. The remaining one goes and joins this guy. It becomes 16. How many twos in a 16? There are eight twos in a 16. Let's divide this, this guy by two. You can't divide this by two because it's an odd number. Because it's an odd number, since 49 cannot be divided by two, 98 cannot be divided by eight. I'm going to say it one more time. Because we cannot divide 49 by two, 98 cannot be divided by 8 because 98 can be divided by the first two but we got two more twos to go we have to go three rounds of twos and if we can go three rounds of two then that number is divisible by 8 
This two, this, so this, this guy is out of the picture. This, he's no longer in the race. How many twos in a five? There are two twos in a five. The remaining one goes here, joins this guy, becomes 16. How many twos in a 16? There are eight twos in a 16. How many twos in a seven? There are three twos in a seven. The remaining one goes here, joins this guy, becomes 12. And there are six twos in a 12. So we have second second round done. We are done with the second round. Let's do the third round. Are we going to be able to do the third round? Can we divide all of these numbers by two one more time? The answer is yes, because this is even, this is even, this is even. So there is no need to actually divide it. They are going to all be divisible by two, because they are all even. So we did the first round, we did the second round, and a third round, third round is unnecessary. Third round is unnecessary. because they are all even numbers all of them are even numbers 78 is even 28 is even 36 is even which means which means these three numbers that we started out with these three numbers that we started out with 312 can be divided by 8 112 can be divided by 8 144 can be divided by 8 and that's it we're done that was it. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.